Hello, good evening. Hello, welcome. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, Adrian, welcome. Hello. Buenas noches. Good evening. Hello, good evening, good evening, everyone. Okay, I'm going to start checking the attendance. So please, when you listen to your name, say present, okay? Y Adrián Erasmo. Hello. Okay. Present, you have to say present. Present. Like, like when you were at school. Okay, thank okay. you. Um, wait a minute. I have troubles with the attendance. Let me check if I have another another list. Okay. Wait a minute, please. I will check the attendance at the end because I don't have access to, to the doc right now. I will ask for the permission and at the end of the class, I will check the attendance, okay? Um, because I cannot write on it. Okay, yeah. Wait, let me try with this. No. Okay, so I will check the attendance at the end, okay? Um, well, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad to, to meet you. Hey, thank you for your patience. Uh, my name is Erika Cordova. Hey, I will be with you during the second module. Hey, we will be together and I hope that we can learn a lot and also uh, enjoy the classes. I really like uh, that you as a students participate, okay, give your opinions. Um, we can share answers and help each other, okay? So we are going to start with today's topic. Okay. Only let me uh, remind you some general things. Okay, as I was saying, okay, my name is 
Erika eh, Córdoba. I will be with you in these four weeks. Um, you are already participated in the WhatsApp group. Yes, ya todos están incluidos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. excellent. Okay, remember the two most important things uh, it's your attendance, okay, and your grades on the platform. Okay, your attendance have to be up to the 80%. Okay, tiene que tener arriba del 80% de sus asistencias in order to get your diploma. Okay? And uh, also your advance on the platform that um, we are going to check it every week. I think on Thursday, you have to complete all the exercises for the section that corresponds. Okay, creo que cada jueves se le está solicitando que ya tenga su plataforma completa, ¿verdad? Um, here in class, we are going to see the material. We are going to work with the, the manual, okay, with the student's manual. And also, we are going to, to do the exercises in which you have troubles with or if you think they are difficult or to reinforce something, okay, we, we can share here during the classes. Entonces, entre lo, la, los ejercicios que usted vaya realizando, si surge alguno con el que usted tenga dificultad, entonces lo podemos ver acá en clase juntos. Okay, for the first week, okay, remember you have to work two sections. Okay, esta eh, sería la la primer semana sería la la más fuerte en relación al trabajo because we have to cover two sections in four days. So we have two days for each section. Okay. In week three, we also have the middle term. And in week four, you have the final test. Okay, remember the rules, okay, to be in class, you have to be mute. You have to enter with your full name. You have to be with your camera on and you have to participate, act, actively participate. Also, you can write on the chat. And when you want to participate, when you have a question or when you have to, to say something, okay, please, the, the hand, but in Zoom. La manita que les aparece en Zoom, porque de esa manera yo los logro identificar más rápidamente, okay? And always be respectful with everybody. Okay, so these are the rules. Remember the attendance to ad advance in the platform. Uh, be on time. Okay, uh, stay the 60 minutes of the class. And uh, have your camera on. Okay, that's are the most important rules. Okay, in order for you to get the diploma at the end of the course. And you avoid troubles. Okay, so we are going to start with the topic for today. I don't know if you have a question uh, regarding to the rules, general things of the course. No? Not yet. Okay, in any moment you have a question, you can raise your hand, okay? Don't, don't worry. We don't have troubles with that. Okay, so we are going to start with section uh, one. Okay. 
let me ask you a few questions. Okay, do you live downtown? What can you tell me? If we understand downtown uh, as San Salvador City. So do you live here in San Salvador City? Do you live downtown? Yes or not? Yes, I live yes. in San Salvador. Okay. So you live downtown. Who else? Nobody else is from San Salvador. No. Okay. So if you don't, don't live downtown, where do you live? I live in Zacatecoluca. Zacatecoluca, okay. Who else want to, wants to share? I live in San Vicente. San Vicente, okay, that's far, far away. No, not too far, right? Like one and a half. From San Salvador, one and a half hour. Yes, como hora y media. From San Salvador. Es como una hora y cuarenta y cinco. Okay. Yes, so it's not too far. Okay, and do you work far from your house? What can you tell me about it? I work near from my house. Okay, so you work near, near. Who else? Nobody else. Okay, Ricardo or Richard. Uh, yes, I work uh, in downtown, the capital. Yes. But I live 20 minutes from the downtown. You live? 20 minutes of the downtown. You, so you live far? You live far? Yes. You live, okay. Live far 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Ah, it's not too far. It's not too far. 20 minutes. Okay. Do you have a motorcycle? Yes. Ah, yes. That's right. Because 20 minutes, it doesn't sound like that you can travel by car in any minutes. Here in San Salvador, it's impossible if you are in a car, if you drive a car. Okay. For me, it's so easy. Yes. Because, uh, uh, I try, I ride the motorcycle 1 a.m. I don't find any traffic. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. What about the rest? How many time you spend in traffic? For example, Richard? It spends only 20 minutes in traffic. That's woo, like heaven, 20 minutes in traffic. What about you? How many times? One hour, 45 minutes. For for your from your house to your work, how many how much time do you spend? Mm -hmm. No, no one wants to participate. 
Um, I am not work and, and study. And cuentas es como digamos estás en el estudio yo. Yes, yes. Um, um, I walk. Tengo que caminar, ¿verdad? So, oh, okay, you walk. I walk and the thirty. 13 minutes. 30 yes. minutes. Yes. Okay, 30 minutes. Okay, but walking is sí. not too far, right? It's not too no. far. No. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, in my case, regularly I spend 45 minutes in traffic, but when the traffic is hard okay when we have traffic jams i spend an hour an hour or more in traffic okay so let's talk about how do you commute how do you commute every day for example richard said that he commute in a motorcycle, in a motorcycle from his house to his work. What about you? How do you commute? Uh -huh. El que vivía en San Vicente. What is the mean commute? The commute is the way that you move from one place to another place. For example, Richard uses a motorcycle. I commute to my work by car. I commute to the uh, work in bus. By bus, okay. Flavio commute by bus, okay. And who was the one that walk? Sí, yo camino, no creo. No, who, who, who was? Who was the, the guy? Quien dijo que iba walking from house I, up to school, to the school, I, right? Adrian, okay. Yes. Okay, so Adrian walks from his home to the school, okay? What about the rest? And the ladies, why are you so quiet? No? Okay, so let's see. Um. Adrian, how often do you take a bus from your house to the school? How often? Um, take a bus. A bus. A bus. Mm -hmm. the... What is what is often? Often it's, for example, you have, you go five days to school, but you go walking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But Friday, you want, you, you don't want to walk. So you take the bus. So it means once a week or one time during the week. So that's the meaning of often. Often. And, uh, and take a bath um, two, two days of the week. 
two days, okay? Twice a week. Okay, yeah. what about you, Flavio? How often do you take a taxi for your work or an Uber? Because nowadays we don't use taxis anymore. And uh, I don't use Uber uh, in taxi tampoco. <laughs> not Uber, neither taxi. No, I use uh, the bus in the... Always. Uh, Mm -hmm. Always. Always. And a bicycle? No? Uh, I use the bicycle uh, because I translate in the in my in my municipio. For, okay. For in your town. In your town. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So, for example, when you go to the store, when you go to the supermarket, you you commute by using your bicycle, by riding your bicycle. Yes. Okay? Yes. Great. And what about the rest? Están penosos todavía. Okay. So I let's... use my car, teacher. You use to your? Go. I use my car to go to work every day. So you commute by car. You commute by car to work. And how many time do you spend of traffic? How much time? 30 minutes? I don't one know. Hour. More than one hour. More than one hour. Okay. Yes. In traffic. Where do you live, Carlos? In San Jacinto, San Salvador. Ah, yes, in San Salvador. Yes, the traffic. In San Salvador, we have a lot of traffic. Yes. Hey, okay, thank you, Carlos. Okay. And so we have different means of transportation, but we have some that we use more often or regularly. Tenemos algunos que utilizamos más que otros. Okay, for example, the most common uh, is the car, okay, the car, the bus, okay, car, bus, and motorcycle. Okay, nowadays, motorcycle, it's like the boom, right? And in some places, also the bicycle, okay, the bicycle. Um, in El Salvador, in the past, we used trains. We used to use a train or trains. But nowadays, it's only for uh, tourism. If you want to go to visit, and, but it's, it's not functional. It's not working. Okay, we also have trucks, but this is not for commute people okay we we don't commute by truck okay truck is when you have to um, carry things to or move things from one place to another okay yes we use airplanes here in el salvador if you want to commute outside of the country for example, if you travel from El Salvador to Mexico or from El Salvador to Guatemala, okay, you can travel using an airplane. And helicopters, yes, we have helicopters here in El Salvador uh, like a week or two weeks, no, a week ago, we celebrate Independence Day. And a lot, a lot of helicopters were on the sky because of the Independence Day. Okay, so we have helicopters here, but not for regular people to commute from one place to another. But yes, uh, for example, the army use helicopters or some hospitals in an emergency 
they use helicopters. Okay, then we have a ship, a submarine, sailboat, and a rocket. Okay, so those are the most common means of transportation that we have, but here in El Salvador, the most common are car, bus, motorcycle, and bicycle. Okay, questions so far? No? Great. I, yes? I have a question. Uh, in the rocket, what is it translated? Uh, it's, um, cohete or nave? Cohete. Cohete. But cohete no de los cohetes de, de diciembre, sino de los uh -huh. de space, uh, spacecraft. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yes, to travel outside the earth. Para, sería ya para salir al espacio exterior. That's the rocket. And I have a question. Yes? The repeated pronunciation and the shift. Um, shift. Um, shift. Shift. Okay, thank shift. you. Okay. Here in El Salvador, uh, ships are using for cargo. Okay, when you want to bring things from or cars or big things from another country. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look of. The manual. Okay, my sister works downtown. That's the name of the of the unit. Okay, and we have here uh, the transportation. The transportation in the U.S. Okay, you can if you use a car, okay, you have to drive or someone in your family has to drive. Okay, you can walk, you can take the bus, you can take the subway. Well, here in El Salvador, we don't have subway. Take the train, we don't have a train. Y el, este, ¿cómo se llamaba? El Citrams, que era lo más cercano al al train or al, or, al, or al subway, we don't have it anymore. If you can ride a bike, you can ride a motorcycle, and you can take a taxi, cab, Uber, in-drive, and so on, okay? So what kinds of transportation you use? Which one do you use? Okay, for example, in my case, uh, I use a car. I take the bus sometimes. And I take an Uber sometimes. So that's in my case. What about you? Horse car. Only car. Only car. Okay, who else? Brenda, what about you? Brenda, Isabel? Hello. Okay, what, what kinds of transportation do you use? Uh, take the bus. Okay. 
I use my old car. Okay, you use your car. Okay, excellent, Marvin. Thank you. Okay, so now let's check the conversation. Okay, let's hear on the chair. Yes. I use the motorcycle. Motorcycle. Okay, yes. Jamie. So you are adventurous. Fearless. Aventurera. Okay, excellent. Muy bien, déjenme ver si ya puedo abrir the attendance. Hello. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I use a moto taxi. Motor taxi, okay. Where do you live? I live in Santiago Nonualco, Departamento de La Paz. Okay, excellent. And do you have a bicycle? Um, no. No. Y, uh, no sé cómo explicarle. <ríe> es como un carrito pequeño. <ríe> ah, yes, the new ones. Mm -hmm. They are very mm -hmm. famous. Yes. They are like, it's not a, it's not, they are not models. They are not motorcycles, right? But they are pretty small, yes. Okay. Ahora sí, let's check the attendance. Ya tengo acceso. Okay. Adrián Erasmo. Present. Excellent. Ana Beatriz. Is not here. No. Andrea Cecilia. Present. Excellent. Thank you. Brenda Guadalupe. Present. Excellent. Brenda Isabel. Present. Excellent. Carlos Ricardo. Present. Excellent. Carlos Roberto. Present. Okay. Cecia Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Darlene Stephanie. Present. Excellent. Dennis Giovanni. Present, teacher. Great. Edith Vanessa. Present. Excellent. Fatima Margarita. Present. Great. Flavio Emanuel. Present. Excellent. Gabriela Maribel. Present, Miss. Excellent. Carla Azucena. Present, teacher. Excellent. Carla Vanessa. Present. Excellent. Luis Edenilson. 
No, Luis and Nilson Diaz. Marvin Alexander. Present. Excellent. Miguel Antonio. Present. Great. Nancy Yastel. Present. Okay. Nancy Soledad. Present. Excellent. Nora Eloisa. Present. Great. Pamela Noemi. Pamela Noemi Pineda. Raquel Abigail Cortés. Raquel, no. Okay. Richard Joel. Present. Excellent. Robert Adalberto. Robert. Ronnie Alexander. Okay. Excellent. Roxana Duran. Present. Excellent. And Jamie Marisol. Present. Excellent. Okay. Nobody is missing. Alguien que no haya mencionado. No. Okay. Remember to be on time and don't miss the classes. So let's take a look on the platform. Let's listen to the conversation and then we are going to practice. Okay, this is the conversation. Hi everyone. In to work, take the train. So to do that, what are some other thing we're going to do in this class is to practice a conversation which illustrates this lesson and the next couple of lessons as well. Let's listen and practice. Car, Jason. Is it yours? No. Can you listen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Yes. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary and the conversation that we just heard. This conversation along with the vocabulary will be very useful for our next lessons. Okay. So let's practice. I need two volunteers downtown, to but they don't drive to practice the conversation. Me, teacher. Yeah. Um, okay, only let me change the screen. Okay. So Richard and me. Okay, Adrian. Yes. Okay, go. Who first? Me. Yes, Richard. Yes. Okay, nice car, Jackson. Is yours? No, it is my sister. 
She has a new job and she driver, drives to work. It's her job here in these bars. No, it is downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't try to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, thank you. Do you have questions about vocabulary words? Yes, because what is that so far? I don't know if it is, so is the pronunciation is correct. Uh, which one? And um, yes, the um, there's sentences in the store. So suburbs. I don't. And I the don't suburbs. Know. The suburbs. What is that? Well, the suburbs are the opposite of downtown. Oh. In downtown is outside in, in, in yes the suburbs okay. are outside uh, okay. like for example if you see a movie okay you you have some people that live on the suburbs like the rich people they live on the suburbs uh, outside but with um fancy houses so those are the suburbs como alejado de la ciudad pero eh, que tiene como comodidades esos serían los de los los suburbios the suburbs Suburb. okay thank you okay two more volunteers to practice me teacher okay Marvin and me. Okay. Nancy, go. Nice car, Jason. Is, is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the servers? No, it's in downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public tra transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, thank you. Okay, only remember the pronunciation for possessives. Okay, for example, here, my sisters, okay, you have to pronounce the S at the end. Okay, that's a possessive. Now, ya vamos a ver un poquito más how we are going to use it. Okay, so let's continue. We have family, okay, family words, related to words. Okay, we have a husband and a wife, okay? Also, they can be called parents, the father and the mother. And we have uh, uh, another ways to call them. For example, to father, you can say that. Or you can say daddy. For mother, you can say mom or mommy. Okay, that's are the parents. And then we have son, daughter, brother, and sister. And they are the children. Okay, children, it's the same as say kids. So in plural. Okay, children, one boy and one girl. Okay, they are children. 
And uh, son is for boys and daughter is for girls. Okay, let's complete the sentences. And here we have, or we are going to use the possessive. Okay, the possessive. Okay, Anne, which is she, is Paul's wife. Okay, what do you remember about the, the possessive? ¿Qué es lo que recuerda acerca de los possessives? ¿Cuándo los vamos a utilizar? This one. Eh, tal vez yo recuerdo que era para decir, para dar a entender que algo me pertenece o le pertenece a alguien. Correct. Y de possessives es para decir que algo es de alguien. Entonces sería como el es de Paul. Anne is Paul's, o sea, la esposa de Paul. Ok, correct. So, uh, Anne is Paul's wife. Ok, Jason and Emily are there, y en este caso como estamos en plural, ¿cómo tendríamos que completar? Jason and Emily are there. Children. Children, correct. Paul is Anne's husband, husband correct. And Jason, it's Anne's son. son, correct. Emily is Paul's father, father, father. Uh, father. I can read Emily, I uh, know, daughter. Daughter. Uh -huh. Emily is Paul's daughter daughter Jason is Emily's brother brother and Emily is Jason's sister sister, no. sister. Paul and Anne are Jason's parents Parents, correct. Parents. Okay, do you have questions about these words? Preguntas? No. No question. Okay, for example, if you want to talk about your family, um, let's see, Gabriela Romero, what are your parents' names? What are your parents' names? Um, what are your parents' names? No le entiendo, creo que mis audífonos no funcionan. Ok, ok, no hay problema. Jamie, 
What are your parents' names? Jamie? Okay, Carla. Uh, Dennis. Okay, Dennis. The name my parent is my father, Luis, my mother, Rosa. Okay, so your parents are Luis and Rosa. Luis and Rosa. Okay, thank you. Yes, Carla? Uh, my parents uh, is your your name is uh, my father, Adrian, my mother, uh, Transito. Your mother? Transito. Transito. Okay, thank you. Hey, remember when you say parents, that's plural. Entonces, con plurales, vamos a utilizar el verb to be are para plurales. Entonces, sería my, my parents names are okay, los nombres de mis papás okay, my parents names are eh, Luis and Rosa if I if I not wrong you remember to use plural okay, y luego si vamos a especificar okay, for example my parents' names are um, Hugo and Elsa. Pero si lo quiero decir como aparte, entonces ahí sí sería my father's, pero con el apóstrofe de posesivo, my father's name is Hugo and my mother's name is Elsa. Okay, ahí sí vamos a usar singular porque los estamos diciendo separado, aparte. Ok. Um, uh, ok, Robert. A volunteer that has children. Alguien que tenga children y nos quiera compartir los nombres. Yes. Ok. Eh, creo que sería My children, my children names are Alison, Andy, and Alexis. Ok. Yes. You... En este caso, como tenemos que usar the apostrophe, ok. My children. Y pues ponemos el apóstrofe es. My children's name are. Ok, say it again, Edith. My children's name are Alison, Andy, and Alexis. Excellent, thank you. Ok, y por ahí tenía, creo, a um, Roxana. Ok, Roxana. Yes, my children's name are... Daniel, Saúl, and Edgardo. Excellent. Great. Okay. One more volunteer. Ya sea for parents or children. Cualquiera de los dos. My children name are the Only one. My children name are baby. Okay, in este caso, if you only have one, who is sorry? Yes. Yes, correct. Y podemos poner en singular my kid. My kid's name is. 
Okay. If it is only one. Okay, darling. Okay. Okay. So do you have questions? Okay, Andrea. In my case, my children's children. names are Amelia, Angel, and Okay, we are going to wait, Jamie. Vamos con Andrea y luego regresamos con usted. My children's name are Angel, Melanie, y Valentin and Valentina. Okay, yes, correct. Okay, Jamie, ahora sí. In my case, que solo tengo uno, ¿cómo sería? My kid's name is, así como está abajo, my kid's <coughs> name. Okay, Podemos my kid's Podemos especificar también, si usted quiere, por ejemplo, si es un boy, puede decir son. My son's name. Y si es una niña, puede decir daughter. My daughter's name is. También podemos hacerlo así. Okay, my kid's name is Diego. Ok, thank you. Okay, vamos con Nora. El micrófono, Nora. My parents and I are Josefa and Marcelo. Uh, my, my son, uh, uh, Rodolfo. Uh, my dad and, my dad and I is Marcela. Okay. Daughters, recuerde a poner el apóstrofe S al final. Yes. My daughters and my son's name. Name is Rodolfo. Okay, yes, that's better. Great. My husband, uh, Rodolfo Antonio. My husband, Ney, is, que sería, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Okay, Rodolfo. Rodolfo. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, so that will be all for today. Only let me it's your... check attendance again. Yes. I have a question. Yes. What is the difference the children and kid? Kid is for one. And children are two, three, four, or nine. Seria uno sería singular, kid. Y children plural. Aunque el singular de children is child, pero ese no les aparece ahí en el manual. Pero child sería, por ejemplo, I have one child. Y en plural, I have two children. Ok, thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Y let's see, Ana Beatriz. Not here. Luis Edenilson. Pamela Noemí. Raquel Abigail. Ah, Robert, que ya ahorita le pongo. And that's it. Okay, so remember tomorrow be on time. And start working on the platform. Check the platform, do the exercises. And if you have questions, bring the questions tomorrow. Okay, we can, we can see if you have troubles with something. Okay. So no more questions for today. Yes, Richard. Can you send the link to the platform about the homework? Uh, I think you have on the on the mail, en el correo creo que se los han enviado. 
If I'm not wrong. It's true. I remember that. Yes. In check the mail. Pero lo voy a revisar y veré si se los puedo enviar más tardecito. Ok. Thank you so much. Ok, so see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, bye. thank you. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye teacher. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.